But there is a new historical movie coming out. It's about a fierce all-woman army in Africa. And they stood up to defeat the white oppression, killing hundreds in hand-to-hand -hand combats. Bullshit. Yeah, that's right, Arnold. It's all bullshit. <laughs> so let's look into the facts of the Dahomey Amazons. Ever hear of them? No. The no. Dahomey just, Amazons? Just regular mm -hmm. Amazons. Well, <laughs> <They're> Prime? <laughs> yeah. Amazon Prime. Yeah, that's it. Zena. Just the Prime Amazons. I heard of Zena. Warrior Z person. Z Zena, yeah. Absolutely. She was fantastic. I think she's more of a Viking. And uh, we're also going to look at the fiction of the movie called The Woman King. And that's going to be now on the Joe Padula Show. Absolutely. Again, make sure to smash that like button. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Also, comment with your thoughts, okay? And hey, if you're on Facebook, send some stars. Appreciate you. Uh, let's start off with, I don't care about gender and stuff like that. I really don't. All right? Shit. <laughs> no, no, that's not BS. I, I don't care about that stuff. Hmm. I care about, you know, the truth. And uh, one of the big battles in the cultural war is media in Hollywood rewriting history. Why? Because it fits their narrative. Yep. That narrative, in this case, is historically men are evil and suck. Especially if they're white. <laughs> I'm sure that's the exact crux of the movie right there. All right. So they are mm. trying to keep alive the world's longest apology reality so but i yes the uh i don't need a man the homie amazons where to start with this army of female warriors are you saying the homie amazons are like ta homie da da homie so like da homie yeah. yeah it's like yo that's that my, is very that's unfortunate. the homies over there mm -hmm. yeah that's very unfortunate so well we're gonna start in the homie africa that's right there it is uh the kingdom of the homie was a it was a West African kingdom located within present day Benin. All right, that existed uh, from around 1600 to uh, well, it ended in 1904. Good run, maybe I don't know. Well, now Sony Pictures and uh, two leftist female screenwriters are finally going to let the world know how women came together to defeat the man. Maria Bella, she's an actress. I'm trying to think what say, she was she in. Was, she was in, she uh, in quite a few she things. Was in, uh, she played in NCIS for a that, short Okay, second. I knew it was one of the crime shows for sure. And also, uh, what was the one where they get on the counter and... Oh, Coyote Ugly. Coyote Ugly. Yeah, she played the, the badass uh, owner of the of the bar. Right. Yeah. Coyote she's hot. Ugly. I mean, I'm not going to disagree. I do her. Okay. But I'm straight. Well, she's into you. So are noodles until you get them wet. <laughs> she, she married uh, some lady there. But here, let's take a look at the uh, the trailer. Here we go. Uh, just to let you know, I don't own the rights to this uh, this trailer from Sony Pictures. We are just doing a reaction video, okay, to this trailer. Okay, YouTube, check. We're, we're good now. And we probably got the video from YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is coming that threatens our kingdom yeah there's the evil hmm. that, that evil French white guy our freedom colonizes <laughs> but we have a weapon they are not prepared for I love the accent I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. So okay. which year is uh, this taking place? Ba Bay, we're going to get into the history in just a moment. Great question. You might want to hit multi-stream on chat, too, because we're not getting any comments, which is weird. That's all right. Okay. I don't care. I like to read them. My king, the Europeans wish to conquer us. They will not stop until the whole of Africa is Please. Please. We must. Please, thank you. <laughs> they will not stop until the whole of Africa is theirs. We must fight back for our people. Maneska, you are asking me to take them to war. War. Some things are worth fighting for. Don't know. 
Okay, based on true events. Okay. You are called to join the king's guard. No kingdom in all of Africa shares this privilege. Train hard, fight harder. We fear no Stunts are cool. Look, 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 she's stronger than this guy. Watch. For you a choice. Fight or we die. Yeah, yeah, women power! What's up, Anita? Female warriors! The most... What did they say it was? The most... The, in, the most uh, fiercest? Uh, okay. Witness the most exceptional... Absolutely. Female warriors to ever live. Ready for war. Look at them killing these men, jumping and running. Viola Davis, by the way, who is just amazing. To be a warrior, you must kill your tears. Well, she knows how to get away with murder. Oh, TV great show. show. Great show. Oh, yeah, kick that man with that gun. Oh, yeah, he's dead. We are. Yeah, they are the home. Yeah, jumping over things and attacking and killing people from behind like Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Viola Davis, the Woman King, September 16th. Bullshit. Why does it sound like a sequel to The Lion King? All right. Well, there you go. Are you excited to watch this movie, anyone? I'll see it just just because I love Viola Davis that much. Yeah, okay. she's very she's so talented. I really I, I enjoy her work. So I'll, the action I'll, is pretty good. But I'm I'm not gonna like go to the theater mm -hmm. watch it. I'll, I'll Amazon Prime watch this Amazon movie. Before we get into <laughs> the fierce battle, where I'm told to believe that this movie trailer, that the the all female warriors slaughter the evil French occupiers. Yes. Let's get into some real history that will lead up to this most epic fight that no one's ever heard of before. <laughs> just saying. This trailer feels like one of those where it basically just gave you every good part of the movie. Like Air Bud? <laughs> was there a good, I, I, was I was, there a good part yeah, of Yeah, I was Bud? so pissed about Air Bud. They showed, they showed all the good parts. That's what this movie, that's, this, this trailer makes me feel that way. All right. This computer's giving me problems. <laughs> All right, so here's a little history for you. All right, so uh, much of the 18th to 19th century, the uh, kingdom of Dahomey was a, a key regional state, eventually ending a uh, tributary status to the Oyo, uh, Oyo, Oyo Empire. European visitors extensively documented the kingdom and it become, uh, became the, one of the most familiar African nations to Europeans. The kingdom of Dahomey was an important regional power that had an organized domestic economy built on conquest and slave, slave labor. labor. Oh no! I th you know they were gonna. Oh no! I didn't see that part in the trailer. <laughs> uh, significant international trade and diplomatic relations with Europeans and centralized administration, taxation systems, and organized military. Notable in the kingdom were significant artwork, an all-female military unit called the Homey Amazons by European observers. We'll get into them in just a moment, and elaborate religious practices of Vodun, which eventually led to voodoo. I was going to say Vodun is, is is voodoo, yeah. Right. So the growth of the Homey. Coincided with the growth, uh, growth of the Atlantic slave trade. And it became known to Europeans as a major supplier of slaves. As highly militaristic kingdom, constantly organized for warfare. Wait until I tell you about these, the Dahomey Amazons, and how their mission was to get slaves of their own people to really? sell. Basically, every country's done it. The, the weak, they take the weak and sell them off. You're, so this movie, and this is the point of this all, is about to promote this group <laughs> who enslaved it, their own people to sell to make money. Yeah. We'll get into that here in just a moment. Okay. The growth of the homing uh, coincided with the uh, Atlantic slave trade, and it became known to the Europeans as a major supplier of slaves. As a highly militaristic kingdom constantly organized for warfare, it captured children, women, and men during wars and raids against 
neighboring societies and sold them into the Atlantic slave trade in exchange for European goods such as rifles, uh, gunpowder fabrics, uh, cowrie shells. I love cowrie shells. It's my third favorite shell. What does it look like? I don't know. Tobacco, <laughs> pipes, and alcohol. Oh, they were alcoholics, too. So basically like the beginning of the ATF with a little Joanne Fabrics thrown in. Other remaining captives became slaves in uh, Dahomey, uh, where they worked on royal plantation, uh, plantations and were routinely mass executed in large scale human sacrifices during the festival celebrations known as the annual customs of Dahomey. The annual customs of Dahomey involved significant collection and distribution of gifts and tributes, religious vodun uh, ceremonies, and military parades. And yeah, don't forget about those human sacrifices. Actually pretty, uh, pretty common with, with old school voodoo, but. So, okay. We'll get into the, uh, the Amazon ladies in just an, another moment here. But in the in 1840s, okay, Bay, going back to your question. When, when we watched the trailer, Bay goes, when does this all take place? Mm -hmm. uh, if they're talking about a battle with the French, it's going to be happening in 1890, mm -hmm. okay? But in 1840, okay, Domi uh, Dahomey began to face decline with British pressure to abolish the slave trade. So the Brits, who uh, were done with slavery at the turn of uh, the 17th into the 1800s, they sent out slave, uh, they sent out ships to attack slave trading ships. Like the slave police. Okay. The anti-slave police. Yeah. So, I just wanted to hear him say a Beokuta. Oh, a Beokuta, right. I was just about <laughs> to. You know, so during all of this, that's what's going on. So the home, they're like, hey, France, France, we, we, we could, they didn't have a phone. I'm just yeah. picking up my. Carrier pigeon. Yeah. Yeah. They said that. Yeah. Hey, France, can we get some help? And France is like, okay, sure. You know, uh, we're, uh, you got to sign some papers though. And we're going to be, uh, we're, we're, you're going to be a yeah. colony. We, oui, we. Oui. We'll make this legal. Right. <laughs> So they go, fine, just, just please get these British people all off our backs. We're trying to make money selling our people. Good old France. They help everyone. Okay. Oui, oui. Well, France, <laughs> it's interesting with France because France had abolished slavery. Yeah. And then when Napoleon came through, okay, he brought it back. Right. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Well, yeah, everything comes back in style, I guess. So, but then. <laughs> that was terrible. Chris. Okay. But then check this out. So France and the homie. In 1861, the uh, Kingdom of Porto Novo, okay, one of the homies uh, tributaries, was attacked by the British Royal Navy that we were just talking about, right? So, yeah, yeah, we got the help and everything. Well, so France, remember I said they abolished slavery and they brought it back? Yeah, Napoleon. Yeah. Well, in 1848, France had the proclamation of the abolition of slavery in the French colonies. That, that, that was signed. Well, guess what one of the colonies is? Dahomey. Dahomey. Sorry, Dahomey. You know what? Uh, you can't sell your goods no more. You can't, you can't sell people so anymore. So I'm guessing this was somewhere in the fine print. So, well, right. here's, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny you bring that up because that was their excuse for not abiding by it. Oh. We didn't see it. Yeah. Well, then. So, <laughs> nonetheless, and uh, there's a beautiful picture, okay, of, uh, of when France said, okay, no more in the colonies. Stop this. Stop this. Got the shackles broken. So, uh, yeah. So, nonetheless, okay. That was a famous painting somewhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In France. I thought it was somewhere else other than France. Oh, but I, it's a copy. There's a copy in Oak Grove, Kentucky. Right. It's very nice. <laughs> well, they do travel, too. Yeah. Often. So, before we get to, now, that battle that we're leading up to, that this movie's pr pr portraying, where yeah. all of these mighty, fierce... Women warriors are killing the French army. Okay. <laughs> yeah. so, I'm sorry. I don't mean to, to laugh. I, I, I believe the movie. I, I think that really happened in life. Sure. So let's get into the Dahomey Amazon. I thought the only. The embellishment. I thought the only uh, African uh, group that ever gave anybody trouble was the Zulus. The Zulus. Yeah. Zulus. Fierce warriors. <laughs> mm hmm. 
obey. It's, it's, it's interesting that we'd never heard of these people until yeah. today. Yeah, this is my first time here now. Right? Yeah, I'm right there with you. There they are. Look how fierce they are, okay? Oh, boy. So, the uh, the homie Amazons, okay? Also known as uh, Mino, okay? They're uh, they're known as Mino because... Uh, uh, they're mean, yeah. No, no, that's not the reason why. <laughs> is that the Spanish word for it? So <laughs> They're Mino. They are Fon, okay? F-O-N, Fon, or, or the homie, same thing, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh Mino means, uh, I think, uh, mothers oh, okay. in, in, in that fond language. It's like the yeah. mothers of their tribe or the mothers right. of their country. Right. Or what. right. I so, uh, so if you hear us call Amino, it also means the Dahomey Amazons because they're called the Dahomey Amazons because it has nothing to do with the Amazon. It also okay. means that Joe can't say a goji, which they're also known as. I'm about to say a goji. <laughs> right. So this all-female military regiment, okay, of the Kingdom of Dahomey, which existed until 1904, okay, they were so named by Western observers and historians due to uh, their uh, similarity to the myth- uh, mythical Amazons of ancient uh, Anatolia, which is uh, East China, and also the Black Sea which is uh, that Mediterranean area there. Now, uh, this unusual emergence of an all-female military regiment was a result of Dahomey's male population facing high casualties in frequent warfare with neighboring West African states. Do you know why those men were getting killed? Because they were attacking these other neighboring states to enslave people to sell. People didn't want to be enslaved. So the guys are getting killed. So... Oh man, we need we need a all woman army. The because, women are like, you know, hold my mead and watch this shit. Right, <laughs> unbelievable. You were right. The uh, it tra- loosely translates to our mothers. Our mothers. Yeah. Okay. You know. Yeah, I'm fluent in fun. Yeah. Can you imagine? I mean, just everything you're even saying thus far. I mean, what kind of fun movie would this be? I mean, no one would watch that. Well, I get the concept, but I just I can't stand it when Hollywood tries they, to rewrite they, history. They try then. <laughs> I don't know if it's necessarily them trying to rewrite mm-hmm. history versus an embellishment. No, they, re, they 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 they're trying uh, to add an entertainment value to yeah. it that well, wouldn't yeah, otherwise it exist. Because like, this this is not entertaining in a. It wouldn't be entertaining <laughs> movie wise if no. it was. Who would as go it see was. this? Would you make an action movie out of? You did. This three hundred. Well, yeah. yeah let, let's. You know, <laughs> I will say though, that, that's a damn good point, right? And uh, and the three hundred, the rise of a empire. Yeah, I will say though, you know, with Hollywood being so uh, beholden to white males of a certain age, it is pretty damn cool to see a strong black female persona like Viola Davis headlining alone yeah, but here's this the thing. movie. You don't have to but, make it up. But who wrote well, No, that's true. Who, who but wrote, I'm just saying, as a positive... Who wrote the movie? Uh, Maria Bello and... And the other one. The other, the other they're, one. Uh, I looked into their Twitter. They're, um, they're far left. <laughs> yeah, they're leftists. <laughs> but uh, the... Oh, wait. They, they perfect for the movie then. Democrat, right? Yeah. They own slaves. So. Oh, oh, good point, Bay. I'm just saying. But uh, so they were first created to hunt elephant. Okay. Mm-hmm. These, uh, these Amazon, uh, the homie Amazon. For oh. their tests. Okay. Hmm. Because the men, again, were off getting killed or captured because they were trying to sl- uh, get slaves to sell. But, uh, you know, a little history of it. Uh, there was a Captain Sir Richard F. Burton. And he, uh, in 1864, documented over 2,000 tribeswomen serving as warriors and reported how two-thirds of them were maidens with passions and love between each other. They were lesbians. He also mentioned a core of prostitutes. Two girls, one fight. Kept for Amazon's use. Several years earlier, in 1850, an English naval officer, Frederick Forbes, wrote down his own observations. Quote, the Amazons are not supposed to marry, and by their own statement, they have changed their sex. We are men, they say, not women. And I think we just discovered why they made a movie about this story. All dress alike, uh, right diet alike, <laughs> and you know? male and female emulate each yeah. other when the males do. The Amazons will endeavor to surpass. 
That so, makes sense. One, uh, one Amazon chief asserted her gender transformation as follows, quote, as the blacksmith takes an iron bar, and by fire changes, I don't know why I'm doing that voice, and by fire changes its fashion. <laughs> so we have changed our nature. We are no longer women, we are men. The Amazon, uh, she uh, warriors, assured victory to an entire line of Dahomey kings for nearly three centuries, from 1600s onwards. And well, that's just my question then. So how do you have women kings if they're all considered men, and they call themselves females there, but they're men. I because Hollywood needed a kitschy title. I guess. So check this out. All right. I didn't see one rifle in their hands in that trailer. Right? Mm -hmm. It was kind of hard to see. It was very, very dark. Well, so... Uh, it moved very quickly. One of the kings in charge there uh, recruited both men and women soldiers uh, from foreign captives. Okay, women soldiers were also recruited from free to homey women, which some enrolled as young as eight years old. Okay, <laughs> other accounts indicate that uh, the Mino, uh, our mothers, were recruited from among the king's wives, of which were often hundreds. Some women in, in uh, the homey, Fon society, became soldiers voluntarily, while others were involuntarily enrolled if their husbands or fathers complain to the king about their behavior. So it's like the mm -hmm. homemade military mm -hmm. school. <laughs> so basically it's... Uh, you keep messing up, I'm going to send you to the army. Oh. <laughs> Respect my rank. Clean or, your room. Or you're going to the home. <laughs> wow. We're not talking about Dependas here. Jeez. <laughs> Damn. I don't think they had... To, did they have Dependas, I wonder? I bet they did. <sighs> I mean, the male did version? Did they have TRICARE? <laughs> uh, membership amongst the uh, the homey Amazons, okay, the Mino, was supposed to hone any aggressive character traits for purpose of war. During their membership, they were not allowed to have children or be part of married life, hence the scissors. So they were legally married, though, to the king. Like so grooming le much? Yeah, <laughs> much grooming in this <laughs> That's a bunch of polygamy. I mean, that's a lot of people married to the king. Many of them were virgins, okay? My ass. I'm sure some of their fingers <laughs> smelled. Oh. The regiment had a semi-sacred uh, status, which was interwined with the uh, fawn belief, the Dahomey belief of, of course, uh, that uh, voodoo, uh, the voodoo. origins of voodoo. Yeah. Right. So the Mino, okay, the Dahomey Amazon. This is starting to feel like history class. <laughs> trained with intense physical exercise. Very good. Damn right. If you're going to go to war, you better be ready for war. Uh, they, they learned survival skills and uh, indifference to pain and death. Storming uh, Acadia Thorn, blah, blah, blah. Okay, good, good, good. Order women to uh, rise. Okay, good. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Okay, so check this out. Okay, so back to the movie, all right? And we're talking a lot of women mm -hmm. being trained. Yeah. A lot. Nobody's doubting that. I mean, the video showed it. Now, but here's the thing. That video, back to uh, the movie, the fight with France. Right. Okay, the occupiers. Yeah. We have people coming here. They, they were, you signed a goddamn piece of paper saying... You uh, you protect us and we're gonna we're we're gonna make each other money. Right. Now I, I get it. Uh when France said no more slavery, sorry, we're not doing this anymore. And the the king was like, uh no, that's our money. Slavery is so yesterday. Like the stories of the women, the you using these Amazons, these uh, the homey Amazons, yeah. to go to other tribes and sleep with the men. Isn't that sort of another kind of slavery, though? When the men were then asleep, <laughs> captured, that's honey potting, and brought into. Ah. Well, that's why women make the best assassins. What a great group to <laughs> glorify in this movie. Is it made by Disney? I wonder. Sony, <laughs> uh, which is owned by Disney. Owned by Damn Disney. Disney. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> See, so. Disney Plus, kids. Now let's go to 1890, all right? When France, no longer allowing the slave trade or the, the legalization of slavery of, uh, of people, well, the first Franco-Dehomean War, 
the Thank Euro- God to home you. The uh, European encroachment into, listen to how they put that, into West Africa gained pace during the latter half of the 19th century in 1890. See, this is what I don't care for with, when it comes to using Wikipedia. Because it's easy to edit. Wikipedia sucks. Yeah. Everyone knows Wikipedia sucks. I agree. Sucks. Well, so, and this is why they, in college you're not allowed to use it as a, a reference source. See, like when they use the word encroachment, you know that's an edited word that someone put in there. Well, and believe it or not, you can edit, and then it actually has to get approved. Mm-hmm. Right. Somebody has to actually go through it and see where you... Yeah, probably by some it. eight-year-old that lives in <laughs> freaking Dahomey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it goes on to saying that the European observers noted that the women handled admirably in hand-to-hand combat, but fired their flintlocks from the hip rather than firing from the shoulder. Yeah. So first of all, no accuracy. Okay. Well, That's guys, not true. Them guns didn't have no accuracy. In the they were terms. accurate up to like four, <laughs> four meters. <laughs> I'm, just, uh, I'm just saying I didn't see them use one rifle uh-uh. in that trailer they or cl- train. They were well, clubbing people. Right. To be fair, though, it was hard to see what some of them were holding when they were flipping all this stuff around. Oh, and, I saw. I, you I, know, I, I just. I saw. Well, well not, not for nothing, but that could have come later in the movie. You're, you know what? You're right. You I, have to I, have I, a timeline. Maybe they left us one scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to <laughs> have somewhat of a timeline. I only was... saw the the bad white guys with the guns. That's yeah. all I saw. Yeah. With the really bad okay. mustache. I was the, just, the bad white guys who... I was just looking at the part that they whipped off from Soccer Zulu, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, they could have like, further dramatized it, too, by making yeah. it seem like, the oh, look, the big bad men had guns. The women didn't. So, yeah. the... the the uh, the Home Amazons participated in one major battle. Okay, this one, <laughs> the one the, in the movie, Cote Noire. <laughs> okay, so they just going off of that one battle where thousands of the Home, the female warriors, including many of the Amazons. Okay, the Home Amazons charged the French lines and engaged the defenders in hand to hand combat. The Amazons were decisively. What's that word? Crushed. Oh, crushed. That's, I'm just, that's what oh. happens when you go, you know, you bring a knife fight to a gun battle. Oh, uh, you know what the I'm great just, part of this is, crushed. though? I'm just wondering what the story plot going to be. I, I can't wait to see. I, I say we all say it. I, I, uh, you know what? I'm almost should. down to go see right. it. You know what I, the, the great thing about this is, though? There was one battle, which means what? There's not going to be any sequel. <laughs> they were, well, <laughs> because what are they going to do before the, the war? The build up. Yeah. Right. Uh, kidnapping other people and selling them to the French well, not gonna to show, the ugly to show what happened because you know without that what story do they get they, yeah, really. I <laughs> promise you they're going to be having the French Kidnapped. involved in the slave trade because, uh, which historically ain't no is French. inaccurate you know what the, probably it is do. accurate the French went and were buying slaves yeah, from they're that. They're but they're they were not going and enslaving them. <laughs> no. So, <laughs> no, you're right, though, Bay. I'm wondering how they're going no, to the, lead I up I think to they'll that. do a format like kind of like Slumdog Millionaire, where you're it's set in the present, and this is the present, but then you have these little flashbacks mm-hmm. to kind of show you. Let's, let's, I think that's what they're going to do. Let's go on about the let, a little bit more about the battle. Oh, okay? yeah, I can't wait. Colton out. The okay? battle can... Cons- <laughs> we're only in 1890. How long is this show? So, the Amazons were decisively <laughs> crushed, right? Mm-hmm. With several hundred Dahomey troops being gunned down. Reportedly, 129 Dahomey were killed in melee combat with the French lines. All right? That's a lot? Well, here's the thing, too. <laughs> So the first Franco uh, war that we're talking about in 1890, all right, about 1,000 to 2,000 Dahomey dead. 16 dead from the French. It's not even close. No, God, no. It's not even close. 83 wounded. All right. They had 8,000 Fon troops, Dahomey troops, okay, to about 759 French troops, right? Yeah, but what's okay? Come on, let's look at the math there. Eight thousand and a thousand to two thousand dead versus only seven hundred and sixteen dead. I mean, really, that ratio is not that far off. There's not that many more killed. Yeah. When you look at the numbers, you're comparing eight thousand to 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 five to, to twelve hundred. Okay. You know. Yeah. Well, so check this out. The oh god, there's a second part. Yeah. Well, so uh, France is like, okay, you guys are done. Okay, stop. Mm-hmm. Well, the Dahomey still wanted to sell slaves. 
So what did they do? They rearmed themselves with better equipment, with more military might. That's when they get the guns. Okay. And in the second Franco de Helmian War, by the end of the second Franco de Helmian War. How long is this movie? (laughs) Bay. Hopefully not as long as this segment. Special (laughs) units of the Amazons. I'm sorry if I'm boring you. You are. Special units of uh, Amazons were being assigned specifically to target French officers, blah, 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 right? Now, after uh, several battles with better gear. Yeah, look at that. About 4,000. killed. About 2,000 to 4,000 so killed. still didn't do any better. Really. And 85 <laughs> killed. And then that's, that's when they said, okay, that's it. See, I don't count the 205 because they des- died of disease. Unreal. Yeah, it's kind of okay. like probably like a Rona thing, too. Like how many were killed and then how many died from... Gangrene. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> from uh, side effects. Of well, even then, I, uh, side effects of war. <laughs> a comorbidity. The, the side effect of war is death. Let's see, on YouTube, it's doing pretty good, I guess, view-wise. It's got uh, 9.2 million views on YouTube, the trailer. Do they have one of those uh, tomato, the Rotten Tomato things yet, or no? Is it too soon? It's probably too soon. Okay. I don't know if it was out yet, or if it's coming up, or what. Some comments are interesting. Based on a true story means leaving out the (laughs) parts where the Dahomey were not uh, the Yas Yas Queen. queen. I love it. (laughs) Heroes. They uh, will eventually uh, be portrayed and, uh, yeah, Ar- uh, arguably defeated by the French. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, good. Yeah, so it's just just other movies out there. You know, like, uh, Bay, Bay, w- what else do you think was historically not accurate movie-wise? Uh, huh. Everything? Gang- Genghis Khan. Oh, uh, starring uh, John Wayne. John Wayne. <laughs> Never seen it. <laughs> Red Pill, you, you think, uh, what's it called, is, is up there with the, the Titanic, oh, right? Oh, Titanic, yeah, yeah, my God. There's so oh. many inconsistencies in that movie. And the gods of Egypt. Which one? The gods of Egypt. I haven't seen that That's one. That's the name of the movie. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's, a, it's a decent movie. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like every historical movie has, yeah. has got... Cle- just, Cleopatra. Rotten Tomatoes doesn't no. have anything well, about this what, on there. What, Nothing, huh? Not even in coming, uh, coming wow. attractions. What, what about Hen- the Henry the Eighth? All them movies have been inaccurate. Like Marie Antoinette. <laughs> um, I'm just so done with Hollywood <laughs> rewriting history. <laughs> yeah. They've been doing it. Do you know Roots, mm-hmm. the series? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's such BS. <laughs> <laughs> they all are, though. It's a made-up story, first of all. It's not actual people. Well, at least that's something. At least it is fiction to start with. They're not trying to take... And they left a part out of, yes, the Africans enslaving the Africans and selling them. Yeah. Yeah. They always well, it doesn't leave, fit their narrative. They, they always leave that out. And not even that, like... It doesn't sell movie tickets. The, the Middle Eastern nations <laughs> who bought up the majority of slaves. Yep. Hmm. They leave all that out. Where, where's the outcry? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's your sequel. You're, that's you're gonna, now we're going to get a prequel and a sequel. I want to see. I want to see how many people <laughs> line up to protest this. They're, they're, they're not. No. Nobody. It's a. It's like I said. It is a. It is a. Oh, it's definitely a. Woke. It's a woman of color who. It, that, no, there is not a chance of a snowball in hell. Josh Lane. Said you know it when right. they're going to get pissy. What did Josh say? <laughs> Would totally ruin the wokeness. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. True. Unreal. Uh, when they're going to get pissy is when they don't get any Oscar nominations because it's a black woman on the, the show bill and it was written and directed by women. That's an interesting point. If it's a good movie, that's how you went. With, it's not going to matter. Well, I mean, you know how that is. It's, it, it won't matter. They're going to get they're gonna say it was a snub. So. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. The, uh, Wakanda forever. Yeah. Th- that's that's the only reason why they're making this. Mm-hmm. You know that, right? The female yeah, version, know. right? Because because oh, Black Panther's success. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. That is the and only reason they started all that after that. Mm-hmm. I see it's gonna. It's, I, I, I say it's gonna fall flat on its face. I just don't. Unless it's just a really good movie, I I don't I don't think that topic is enough to to ride the box office wave. In my opinion, <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I mean, there's got to be a story, but to call them the Fiercest, what they call them? 
the fiercest women most ever. Most exceptional warriors. It, it was, yeah, there, there we yeah, go. Yeah, Except, um, Wh- yeah. Yeah. Witness Wh- the most exceptional female warriors to ever live. What a slap in the face to, like, the Israeli IDF. Oh, that's how I was yes. just thinking. The right. IDF. <laughs> the IDF out of Israel, okay? Like those women. Are, <laughs> they are. And it, what a slap in the face to even the medics so that troops. I saw on the front lines. Friggin' bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Friggin' well, tying people's legs up. I would assume that they meant for this time. <laughs> I nice, was, I nice say that too. <laughs> but then what does it say after witness the most to exceptional ever live. To, to ever, ever live. live. But it, right. that, uh, to me, I'm playing devil's advocate. I always I do. I know you are. And then they I can't know. just say based on true events. It's based on powerful. Right. Yes. <laughs> so uh, we're going to spice this up a little bit. Yeah. And, and, They're going to have to because the movie probably sucks ass. And <laughs> the, my issue is there's going to ha- there's gonna be, be people walking out of this movie theater or wherever they're watching it and they're gonna be yeah but also they're gonna be friggin evil white guy i don't know <laughs> okay. that's that's the narrative that gets preached all around anyway these days so it just kind of i you know what i don't think it's going to have that much of an impact because i think it's going to my prediction is it is going to flop and flop badly yeah. but to admit, unfortunately uh, omits i'm i'm guessing because like, like you guys said this is a trailer we don't we didn't, yeah, yeah. But I'm really guessing they're going to be omitting the part about France abolishing slavery and slave trade and make, going over well, there to fight to make the, sure that the yeah. abolishment. I mean, Joe, right. just the teaser itself tells you that they're going to abo- that they're yeah. going to remove that because like, <laughs> they're occupying the force because you're selling people. Yeah, if you're if you're going to bring up the fact that they were selling people, I don't think they're going to call them exceptional. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> exceptional asshole. Uh, I, mean, I don't know. So, don't know. so how are they going to portray the French? We over here as the angry it. white man, as the uh, as the like uh, Joe said, yeah, yeah, as the oppressor. They're coming to steal the slaves. <laughs> right. That what I'm. I'm trying to. You know. Yeah, I, I just I, see this being an embarrassment. <laughs> I just really do. It, which because, is sad. Uh, it's they, really sad. They picked the wrong movie. I agree. Because you know, you can look this up and find the real history on it. So. I mean, I, <laughs> if you're gonna do the movie, then just take out the entire part that says based on powerful right? true events. Just make <laughs> yeah. the damn movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, just make just the movie. Just make the movie. Don't don't say based on anything. Just make uh, it. You know, this, this make it. Well, if you well, don't, then you're not l- leering people into wanting to watch it. Cause right. I'll tell you, not for nothing, if. If this movie came out without having the words "based on powerful true events," I would have watched it. I won't. I wouldn't. I'd be like, I don't know. it's well, a, a farce. I, w- I would have watched it because come you know, to find out, it is a that, farce as it sits. I'd be like, oh, what's well, a female killing people? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> and then it's just got her too, and it says her reign begins, and then then right. it. I don't. I don't. I don't know. It and just, the characters are all made up. Well. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh right? really? But, yeah. Oh, there's no oh. general whatever it's no her ac- name is. It's no accuracy. No. It's no. The, even the king's names aren't aren't accurately so, used. Because I went so, to IMDb to look at the cast. So this is a fiction. Yeah. Fiction yes. movie. It's so a all fictional this is movie made based. Up. Yes. Yeah. yeah it's all, a, well, it's, it's fictional based it's on a, a true no, event. Lo- it's, very loosely it's based loosely. Yeah. on history. It's right. Yeah, it's, it's fake. fake. The only thing it's fake, it's fake sprinkled with a bit of truth. The only you know, thing we should is, each take a section of Wikipedia and go in there tonight and edit it to look just like uh, the movie. So the no, because we won't get approved. <laughs> the only thing that's true is the females and the French. Yeah, and in Africa, right? Yeah. And that, yeah, the, yeah, the they, location. There There's you a, go. a place called the Historic, historical accuracy, right there. There are females. <laughs> in there were females. And there's there Frenchmen. was Frenchmen. Oh, and, and there's there's weapons. Yeah. And people die. I bet the lesbian <laughs> parts in there. Oh, oh you know, freaking you, percent. You, oh, you know they go. Uh, you know, oh, yeah. they, they, they got some people. It. I mean, I'm somehow. counting. I'm counting on it. Okay? Well, you know that that'll never get seen overseas. <laughs> oh, of course not. <laughs> not <laughs> in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they're going to get the men to come watch this crap. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <and not laughs> this is the lesbian scene. Not in Saudi Arabia. Countries. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Saudi Arabia, oh, yeah, yeah. what a wonderful segue that was, Joe. <laughs> I had to. 